What's happening, everyone? My name is Max. If you're new to my channel, I'm a communication skills coach. And what I do is I look at all different types of people's conversations and interviews, and I give you my thoughts. And that's what we're going to be doing today for the very first time with the Never Have I Ever cast. Never have I seen these people before. And guys, if there's anyone else that you'd like me to react to, please do let me know in the comments. I appreciate you being here. Let's do this. Which Harry Potter character do I most identify with? Oh, Hermione, 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 Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger. Hermione. Guys, we're supposed to let me write it down, oh. and you guys write it or whatever. No, that's too to... obvious. Why don't you just write it down? Okay, yeah, Hermione just, Granger. Just write, just write down, down Hermione <laughs> Granger. <laughs> Good job, guys. Well, I like. Uh, is it Maitre? Maitre. I like her personality right away too. Like she seems kind of feisty in a good way like you can tell she challenges her co-stars here a little and she kind of teases them and i like that like she seems like she has a strong personality she seems quick she comes off as very confident well that's great yeah okay fine next question so funny this one's not as easy where hermione yeah just her tone right there this one's not as easy this one's not as easy she's challenging them in this sort of friendly kind of teasing way and that's generally a sign that co-stars or people in general are a little bit closer, right? They're okay and they're more comfortable with teasing. Again, for people new to my channel, the focus here is communication skills. And I try to look at what we can learn from different celebrities and potentially talk about why they seem likable or why we like to listen to them. Where did I do my audition? For never have I ever. Oh, was it at, it's not, it's either at your house with Shahara or Shahara's house? I either think it was at your high school mm. with Shahara or. I love that you guys all know Shahara's name. That makes me really happy. Hey, Sorry. Shahara. I'm gonna try to go one step further and say that it was at the library at the high school. Yeah. Dude, this is really cool. The fact that, first of all, the fact that they know Maitreyi's best friend over here, Shahara. It's either at your house with Shahara. Uh, Shahara hit you up. In addition to that, look how much Maitreyi appreciated them mentioning her best friend. Or, I love that you guys all know Shahara's name. That makes me really happy. Hey, Sorry. Shahara. When people bring up things that they know about us that makes us feel special it makes us feel seen and understood and appreciated if we want to further connect with people establishing and acknowledging the fact that you know certain things about them or that you remembered certain details about what they've told you goes a long way profession <laughs> Okay. I got this. Wait, let him write down. Let him write down. That was confident. I got this in the bed. <laughs> okay, then go first. You're yeah, you can so go first. You're so confident right now. Well, wait, well, let him write it down. Don't I look at what he's writing. I'm not. So no, I'm it's going to be the biggest I L I take from here. if this is not correct. All right, I want to know. Yeah, I think Megan's competitive not only with other people, but it sounds like she's competitive with herself, too. It's going to be the biggest I L I take from here. if this is not correct. Right. Again, right away, you, you can see she's competitive. I don't know who like the leader is between Maitreyi and, and Megan. I don't know if they compete for the leadership role, but I wouldn't be surprised if they speak over each other at times and sort of compete to be sort of the, the most dominant force in the space, right? They both feel like they have really strong personalities here. I'm going to go with uh, you, you're going to use your degree and something business or entrepreneurial. That's what I was going to say. I would try to be an actor. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That's so rigged, Jaren. It what? is, is rigged. Jaren, what? Jaren, I like the way he's sort of engaging directly with the camera. Like him and Maitre are making an effort to look at the camera directly. To me, that's a sign of their ability to not only be aware of, of, of the audience because they're looking directly at the camera and they want to make eye contact with the camera and it's just another way to connect with the audience, but that shows me that they're just very comfortable being on camera. And from a communication perspective, when we see other people speaking to us and they're making eye contact with us directly, it gives us a, a reason to, another reason to stay engaged, right? If you think about it, if someone's not looking at you, it can give you an excuse to tune out. What do I do when I want to get my crush's attention? Avoid eye contact, be shy, and don't do anything about it. I wrote deny and secretly stalk them and act like I don't. Wow. Yay! 
She reminds me of a nerd, Ramona. <laughs> She's just, she's just kind of nerdy. I don't mean that to have any sort of negative connotation. Like there's a confidence in the way she comes across as well. Like she just feels the most, almost unique in a way out of the, all the cast members. She feels like she's just very much herself and her own personality. She seems like, like a character. You know what I mean? She seems like a real character. Real ones. That's family. I don't think you guys are gonna get these. I'm scared. I don't. I want to get. I these really well. don't. What is my favorite sport to watch? Oh, I'll give. But there's That's... two. There, there are two. I'll give you that hint. Well, obviously. So look at look at the way Megan sort of commanding the room, and she's pronouncing slowly. What is my favorite sport to watch? What is my favorite sport? to watch. She's very clearly enunciating her words, right? Not afraid to be heard, not afraid to be seen. She's looking around the room and making sure to engage all the different people in the room as well. So she's a very engaging communicator. I think there's a lot people can learn from Megan in that way, especially when you're speaking at a slower pace. That gives the impression that you're not rushing through anything. You're not nervous to be there. You're okay with people hearing you. You're comfortable in the spotlight. That's sort of the impression that she's giving. And we can hear people and absorb their messages much more easily when they pronounce their words clearly. Uh, Homer. Oh, what? She, she didn't write down. Yeah. No, but I'm not. Well, she, she okay, I'm just, I'm talking about. Do you like watching basketball? You like playing basketball? Tennis. I'm also going with basketball. I'm, I'm going to say volleyball. Oh, that's good. Mm. Volleyball and basketball and tennis. Lee seems cool and laid back and again, she seems very confident too, but not in a way where it feels like she has to get her message out. She has to get her point across. But, you know, just the way she's kind of carrying herself, she seems very comfortable with herself. Jaron seems most like an actor to me. You know, he seems like he's kind of being, in a way, the most performative. Maybe that's just his personality. But that's what it seems like to me. It looks like uh, Jaron and Maitre have a nice little connection going on, right? They seem to be looking at each other after every one of Darren's answers. Obviously, they're sitting next to each other, but just from their body language, it seems like they're quite close. And yeah, just, just something I noticed. Answers leave. <laughs> I, do, I swear, I swear you told me something about cricket before. So I definitely probably did say something about cricket, but I'm not going to comment on that because I know we have a large Indian audience, but you guys actually got them. Basketball and tennis. Oh, you don't? See, Darren avoids eye contact a little. You know, he's an interesting one in terms of how he communicates because he doesn't seem invasive at all. I think that's part of it. You know what I mean by invasive? He doesn't seem invasive. He's not like super in your face. You know, he'll answer a question, he'll talk to you, but then he'll kind of look away. There's this endearing quality about him because of what seems to be a certain level of humility. Although, you know, you can hear him and, and, and feel his presence to a degree, he doesn't make his presence felt or doesn't try to make his presence felt in this sort of obvious, overt way, right? You notice how he's not like looking to be seen in the same way. He's kind of keeping a low profile with his body language in a sense. So that's, that's the impression I get from him. Maybe he likes to stay out of the spotlight a little more, although he has a lot to say, and although he's funny and quick-witted, he doesn't want to take up the space. He wants to give other people their space. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's part of the charm and the humility that I'm, that I'm seeing here. What was my first job? An actor. That's what I was gonna Weren't say. Weren't you in a commercial with your dad? With I your dad! <laughs> your dad, more. like, Points for all into of acting and then like, my first job was a commercial with my dad that never aired. Oh but yeah, yeah. Ramona. Wow. That was really See, time. Megan's very confident. Again, there's a lot to learn from her. She's a very confident communicator, right? When she asks the question, she's making sure to look at different people in the space. You know, a lot of the time when we're in conversation, we forget to engage different people with our body language in the space, and that can make certain people feel left out. And it can also lose the attention of a crowd. Megan's like doing everything in her power, maybe not consciously, but she's doing all these different things to keep people engaged. Who is my celebrity crush? Nobody's saying. I already know. I think it's Anne Hathaway and Zendaya. Zendaya and Ramona Young. Oh. Whoa! 
I'm not at all like, so disgusted. I was just shocked. She just confessed her love to you. That's okay, so yeah, I love you too. Aww. Maitre might be the most likable in a way in this cast. She seems very charming and, and personable and I like how she personally engaged Ramona there and oh. I'm not at all like so disgusted. You know, it seems like she pays attention to people. The teasing that she does, I think, is based a lot on how much she pays attention to other people. Because we can tease people in a more fun, thoughtful way when we pay attention to them. Because we can call them out for specific things or behaviors that they're doing. So that is part of why I feel like Maitreyi is this charming person. She sort of picks, selects one person at a time to kind of pay attention to in this sort of real way. She gets very attentive with people. And if we want to learn to connect better with people and improve our relationships, I think we can look at someone like Maitreyi and see how much she pays attention to people. I, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Where do I currently go to school and what's my major? Oh, we, we, no, but that's, that's a trick question. question. Yeah, it is a trick question. Trick question. That's a trick you question. Graduated. Yeah. But you went yeah, to USC. You went to college. You went to psychology. We know that. I mean, they all love to be here. They're all happy to be here. That's what it really feels like. They're all talking over each other. They're into this game. One sign of a group of people being extremely close is how well they know each other. And this is a perfect example of that. I think we can all agree that we know each other pretty well. Hell yeah. I'll send you the Britney Spears photo. <laughs> Dude, Darren's a funny one, huh? He's a funny one. He's quick. He's funny, and you wouldn't expect it based on his demeanor, based on the way he carries himself. Again, he's not trying to be the center of attention here. He's just low-key and quick with his humor. I think that's a big part of his charm. But cool cast. I like them. Definitely an interesting bunch with some dynamic personalities. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, all you need to do is go to my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. Other than that, my name is Max. I will catch you soon. Peace.